I studied biochemistry at Oberlin College from 1993 to 1997. And like many students, um, many students of color in Western education, I, I think at one point we all reach a sort of <clears throat> realization, a point of realization that some of what we're being taught or the, the filter with which we're being taught knowledge is um, bias. And most, most of us notice this bias because we, um, often because we notice a bias against us. Of course, in most, um, most institutions at every level, people don't even learn a language to talk about this, this understanding, this reading, this seeing. It's only those who really seek it. Um, people can think about it critically, but, but frankly, there is a great deal of inexperience in having conversations that uh, deal with critical thinking, particularly when it comes to knowledge. It's a genre of thought, but this is my contribution <laughs> uh, to date, chemistry. Like the halo effect, I'm always doing these videos early in the morning. I wanted to talk to you a little bit about chemistry since uh, I think a lot about it weighs heavily on my mind. I first learned chemistry from my grandmother. She taught me about salts, vinegars, uh, balancing pH, fermentation, pickling, all, um, all her kitchen, on the kitchen table, um, mixing, making stuff, cooking, pies, cakes that she could make from scratch, her seven up cake, and just how you had to balance, sift, all these different things. Um, so she even taught me a very, um, you know, um, that good lab skills even in practice practices, including sterilization, but she was a little bit hyper on the bleach. But she taught me how to taste things and which places on the tongue to taste things. So that I even think you start thinking about biology. Um, the woman taught me a lot and it was good that in high school that we learned a lot about, um, you know, the very same things, pH, um, salts, vinegars, that these were experiments that we did and they call it home chemistry. I guess that's why I feel betrayed in by the academy with the focus on uh, carbon because I think that um, it's it, it, it just it's just writing an industry. You know what I mean? It's just writing on that industry. I do think, however, that what about proteins? I mean, think about it. We're we're thinking we're looking at proteins as a building block of life, and yet we're so far behind that even Watson and Crick are racist. I mean, that is so passe, you know what I'm saying? But I, I mean, that the emphasis that chemistry has now um, at the university and certainly research levels um, has been used to exploit the earth. Now, of course, the fear is that by knowing and synthesizing and sequencing more proteins, that we'll certainly repeat that, do that. So I guess it's, in a sense, good that the, you know, um, that Bush's deep in evangel evangelical hands have uh, clinched a lot of government money for scientific research, because perhaps we do have that potential. It is not that science and exploration is bad. It is when it is devoid of morality. And I think it has been so devoid of morality that all we do, we're so hyper on petroleum and you can see it on college campuses today when 90% of what you learn is about daggone carbon and hydrocarbon. No, or hydrocarbons, not carbon. Hydrocarbons. You know what I mean? It's like we're just breeding people to exploit the planet. And look where it's gotten us. Whereas look at where understanding proteins could get us. Um... We always talk about exploring history. Well, why not explore history? I mean, for a person like me, for example, having mitochondrial DNA sequencing and being able to trace one's ancestors um, is very enlightening. Um, yeah, and on and on and on and on. There are several projects that are doing this now. But think about that as a scientific development. Think about um, not just ways to rid ourselves of disease, but ways to increase health. 
increase health, quality of life. And it's not just about eliminating germs and bacteria from our lives. That's, that's, that, that's, we need germs and bacteria, but that's the, mental, that's the kind of linear mentality that seeks to dominate. And that's, that's what's also embedded in science. Science is an exploration. It is not a domination, not even a domination of knowledge. It is a mastering of knowledge. And all masters know you never completely master. You're always students, so you always must be humbled by your subject. Instead, as scientists, we seek to dominate that subject. All of our resources, anything that we can, that we can discern down to the last atom and, 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 and then uh, synthesize, we want to do it. And I think that that's not the way. That's certainly not the way that I learned chemistry. But there was always a greater purpose. Happy Kwanzaa.